as you gaze into the vastness of space and witness the twinkling dance of billions of stars. Each one seems to whisper the same haunting question that has lingered in the human mind for centuries. Are we truly alone in the cosmos? This question has inspired philosophers, poets, scientists, and dreamers across generations. It has fueled entire branches of astronomy and astrobiology, pushing humanity to build increasingly powerful instruments to look deeper into the universe, hoping to find clues about whether life is unique to Earth or scattered among the countless stars. Now, a groundbreaking instrument has joined this quest, an engineering marvel that has redefined how we explore the heavens. The James Webb Space Telescope, a technological triumph decades in the making, now orbits far beyond Earth, peering into the distant reaches of the universe with unmatched precision. Acting as a cosmic magnifying glass, it grants us the ability to examine distant planets and stars with a clarity unimaginable to previous generations. Recently, this telescope set its sights on a particularly intriguing target, a world known as K218b. At first glance, this exoplanet appeared to be just another entry in the growing catalog of thousands of worlds discovered orbiting distant stars. But when the James Webb began its careful observation, what it revealed set off a wave of excitement that rippled through the global scientific community. K218b was no ordinary planet. It was a world that not only contained hints of water vapor in its atmosphere, a finding already remarkable on its own but also showed signs of a molecule rarely seen outside the context of biology on Earth. This discovery immediately raised profound questions. Could this be the long-awaited sign of extraterrestrial life? Could the faint spectral fingerprint of this strange molecule be humanity's first tangible clue that biology has taken root on a world orbiting another star? K218b lies about 120 light-years away from Earth a distance that might seem unfathomable yet still places it within our galactic neighborhood. It belongs to a fascinating category of planets that astronomers call sub-Neptunes, worlds that are larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. What makes this category so intriguing is that no such planets exist in our own solar system. We are familiar with rocky terrestrial planets like Earth, Mars, Venus, and Mercury, as well as massive gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, or icy giants like Uranus and Neptune. But sub-Neptunes occupy a strange middle ground, and because we lack a local example to study, their true nature remains mysterious. Are they mostly gaseous with thick atmospheres and no solid surface? Do they harbor deep oceans beneath their clouds? Or are they something entirely different? representing a new class of planetary body unlike anything we've encountered before? K218b adds even more intrigue to this puzzle because it orbits within the habitable zone of its star, a red dwarf called K218. The habitable zone is often described as the Goldilocks region, where conditions are neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist, assuming the right atmospheric conditions. Water, of course, is considered essential for life as we know it. What makes K218b unusual is that although it orbits very close to its star, just 0.18 astronomical units away, which is closer than Mercury is to the Sun, its parent star is much cooler and dimmer than our Sun. This means the planet is not scorched to an uninhabitable wasteland but may instead host temperatures suitable for liquid water. On K218b, a year lasts only 13 Earth days, yet this rapid orbit around a faint red dwarf could create a delicate balance where life-supporting conditions might persist. When the James Webb Space Telescope observed the starlight filtering through the planet's atmosphere during a transit, the data it returned was nothing short of remarkable. It detected clear signs of water vapor, along with methane and carbon dioxide. The combination of these gases is intriguing enough, but what truly electrified the scientific community was the potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS. On Earth, this molecule is produced almost exclusively by biological activity, particularly by microorganisms living in the oceans. 
If confirmed, its presence in the atmosphere of K218b would represent a groundbreaking biosignature, one of the clearest chemical hints that alien life could exist. This discovery is particularly surprising because planets orbiting red dwarfs are often thought to be poor candidates for life. Red dwarfs can emit intense bursts of radiation that strip away atmospheres or sterilize planetary surfaces. Yet, K218b seems to resist these expectations. Not only does it appear to maintain a thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere, but it may also harbor vast oceans beneath. The potential presence of water and biological molecules in such a setting suggests that life could emerge and endure in ways very different from what we see on Earth. Astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan has proposed an entirely new classification of these worlds, calling them Hycean planets, a term that combines hydrogen and ocean. Hycean worlds are theorized to be sub-Neptunes with thick hydrogen-dominated atmospheres and deep global oceans that may cover the majority of the planet. They could be up to 10 times the mass of Earth and twice its radius. Despite their size, they might not be inhospitable gas balls but instead worlds where liquid water exists under unique atmospheric conditions. Some of these planets could have surface temperatures approaching 200 degrees Celsius, far hotter than Earth, but still within a range where microbial life might survive, especially in protected oceanic environments. What makes Hycean worlds particularly promising in the search for life is that they expand the traditional definition of habitability. Instead of limiting our search to Earth-like rocky planets, Hycean worlds allow for a much broader range of conditions under which life could thrive. And because they are larger, their atmospheres are easier to detect from great distances, making them prime targets for instruments like the James Webb. K218b could therefore represent not just a single discovery but an entirely new frontier in astrobiology. Yet, as groundbreaking as these findings are, they also highlight the immense challenges of confirming extraterrestrial life. Even with the James Webb's unparalleled sensitivity, detecting faint molecular signatures requires careful, repeated observations. The data can be influenced by many factors, from the behavior of the star itself to instrumental limitations. Confirming the presence of DMS on K218b will require additional studies, likely spanning years, before scientists can say with confidence whether life is truly responsible for its presence. Nevertheless, the possibility itself is enough to energize the global community of astronomers and inspire a new generation of dreamers. The method used to reveal these secrets is as fascinating as the discoveries themselves. During a transit, when K218b passes directly in front of its star, a small fraction of starlight filters through its atmosphere before reaching our telescopes. This light carries with it the fingerprint of the molecules it has encountered. By splitting the light into its component wavelengths, scientists can see which specific wavelengths are missing. Each molecule absorbs light at distinct wavelengths, like a unique barcode. In this way, astronomers thousands of trillions of kilometers away can identify the chemical makeup of a planet they will never physically touch. It is a breathtaking demonstration of human ingenuity, using the laws of physics to uncover the secrets of distant worlds. The discovery of K218b's atmospheric composition also carries profound implications beyond science. For centuries, humanity has looked to the skies with wonder, crafting myths about other worlds and pondering whether the universe holds other forms of life. Now, we stand at the threshold of possibly answering this question not with imagination but with evidence. If life is confirmed on K218b or any similar planet, it would reshape our understanding of our place in the cosmos. We would no longer see Earth as the singular cradle of life but as one of many oases scattered throughout the galaxy. It would be a discovery that alters philosophy, religion, science, and even our future as a species, for it would confirm that the cosmos is not silent but alive. Of course, it is important to remain cautious. The detection of dimethyl sulfide is not yet absolute proof of alien life. It is a tantalizing clue, a piece of evidence that requires further validation. But even in the absence of definitive confirmation, the very act of detecting such potential biosignatures pushes science forward. It sharpens our methods, fuels new theories, and encourages further exploration. 
Each new observation of K218b will add detail to the picture, slowly transforming a distant dot of light into a world whose nature we can begin to understand. As humanity continues to build more powerful telescopes, both in space and on the ground, our ability to study planets like K218b will only improve. Future instruments may even allow us to create direct images of exoplanets, capturing not just their spectra but their actual appearance. One day, perhaps within our lifetime, we may be able to say with certainty whether oceans roll across the surface of K218b, whether microbial life stirs beneath its hydrogen skies, and whether Earth is but one of many living worlds orbiting the stars. So when we look at K218b, we are not just studying a distant planet. We are gazing at the possibility of a second Earth, or at least a second cradle of life, in a universe that has always seemed silent and vast. Whether or not life exists there, this discovery expands our vision of what is possible. It reminds us that the search for life is not confined to Earth-like worlds alone, but may stretch into categories of planets we had never considered before. And in that realization lies one of the greatest truths of science. The universe is always more surprising, more complex, and more beautiful than we imagine. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this exploration into the mysteries of K218b, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, so together we can continue uncovering the wonders of the universe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.